friends, this is my last prepping video before departing once again across the Pacific in the westerly direction back to the Marshall Islands. I have uh, quite a bit of sail repair to do, uh, especially the jib. I had neglected to restitch the uh, this umbrella cover uh, borders, uh, the legion foot before leaving uh, the Marshall Islands last time and uh, that took quite a beating. Uh, the uh, This umbrella seems they all got busted up and we're flapping in the wind and also some of the actual sail seams under this umbrella cover also parted. So uh, I had a lot of repairs to do on the jib and I also went over the mainsail where I had uh, on my last voyage hand sewn two entire seams that had parted. So uh, here I do uh, quite a bit of uh, re-stitching for as far as I go uh, can go into the sail with the uh, limitations of uh, the size of my uh, sail right uh, sewing machine. So uh, that's the, the last video uh, of prep before crossing once again. I hope you enjoy it. I just got done repairing this bosun's chair. It needed uh, work because this, the side seam had split apart. So I sewed on both sides. I uh, sewed it back and put a piece of webbing here. It's kind of hard to see, but now it's uh, totally reinforced. And uh, I also put uh, Velcro here uh, instead of the, the sewn seam so it can remove the plywood seat for easy repair. So great. And for this, as well as for all the sail repair and maintenance, I use this great Sailrite machine, the LSZ-1. It's a, a wonderful machine. I've had it for nearly 20 years. I've done a lot of upgrades, and I recommend to anyone who has an old machine uh, to upgrade it for the luxury and the ease of operation of the upgrades. The Worker B motor and also the uh, the stitch length and reversing control, are, that in particular is a great, great upgrade. And uh, also, of course, a little LED light for threading. So uh, it's, it's just indispensable uh, to have a machine on board to check your sails before a, a long voyage, do all the stitching that's required, especially on this umbrella cover and near the, the leech and foot of, uh, of head sails and so on. And also, once you've completed your voyage, you will need some work again. And uh, that's where the Sailrite machine does an absolutely wonderful job. And I want to show you, uh, here is the, uh, the, the control uh, for reversing and stitch length. It, it is uh, really wonderful compared to the old uh, model. Uh, and it's an easy, easy upgrade. And uh, I, I want to show to you just how incredible the Worker B motor is. How slowly you can sew with the foot pedal. See that? That's absolutely one. Oh, let me put the foot down. See how slowly you can move the machine? It's brilliant. So, like I say, it's... A wonderful piece of work, this uh, Sailrite machine. Over 20 years on board Ahaluna and still going strong, better than ever. I keep it well oiled. Pretty, <coughs> pretty ragged, what do you think? Gaffer used to say, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. Helps to plug in.
See how that worked out? Pretty neat, huh? See that? That's the patch I just cut a few minutes ago. Now I just have to do the strip along here in way of the leech line. And on to the next. With these sail repairs done, uh, all the actual work of uh, uh, restoring and repairing things are done, and it's down to organizing deck and below deck, securing things, and uh, getting enough crankcase oil, etc., and uh, other provisions, and then I'm ready to cross the Pacific once again from La Cruz, Banderas Bay in Mexico to Majuro Marshall Islands, a little over 5,000 nautical miles, at the age of 87 this time. So stay tuned, the next one is the actual crossing. Thank you for watching.